All right, we're working with area of triangles and trapezoids. Let's go ahead and get started. So two triangles are formed when a parallelogram is cut in half. So notice I went ahead and I put a line through the parallelogram there. Therefore, the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height, and the height of the triangle will form a right angle. We also said this forms a 90 degree angle, and then I said the other day it's perpendicular to the base. All right, let's get into a couple examples here. We have a triangle here with a base of 14 inches and a height of 16 inches. Formula stays the same, area equals one half base times height. All you need to do is plug in your values there. And then what I did down here, you can also write out area equals base times height divided by two. It does the same thing as multiplying one half. So I wrote down here the process with which I will solve. So 14 times 16 gives me 224. Divide that by two, you should get 112 inches squared. All right, number two, area equals base times height times one half. Our base here is 3.5, I just disappeared. And our height is two meters. Oops, accidentally went forward. All right, so we should have one half times 3.5 times two, which if you didn't notice, one half of two is one. So really those two things cancel out and we have 3.5 meters squared as our solution. Let's move on into trapezoids. So a trapezoid is one or two triangles and a rectangle combined. So notice this image we have down here kind of looks like one rectangle and a triangle over on the right hand side. So we have a different formula for this. So to find area of a trapezoid, we're going to use the formula area equals one half. And then in parentheses, you notice we have B sub one plus B sub two times the height. Now, what do I mean by B sub one and B sub two? Well, B sub one is the length on the top of the base. And then B sub two is the length at the bottom. So those are going to look a little bit different than what we've been doing. And notice the base on the top and the bottom run parallel to each other. Whereas height is the height of the trapezoid. And no notice they run perpendicular to each other. All right, let me show you what this, uh, what this is going to look like. Number three. So here we have a trapezoid. You can clearly see there is a triangle on the left. And you can imagine if there was a dotted line here, there would be a triangle on the right. So we have a pretty typical trapezoid here, a rectangular shape with two triangles. So we're going to use the same formula we just um, saw on the last slide. Area equals one half base sub one plus base sub two times the height. So what's our what are our values that we're using? We're using seven and twelve and four. So notice that five inch line, we're not going to use it all. If you want to go ahead and cross it out, we don't need it. So let's plug in our values. So area equals one half times seven plus 12 times four. What I'm going to do over here, I know you don't have enough room on your paper if you're taking notes, um, but I wanted to make sure that we had, that you have an idea of how to get the answer here. So let's go ahead and add these two first. It's really important that you do that first or else sometimes you'll get the numbers mixed up. So seven plus 12 is gonna give us 19. And if we multiply that by four, we should get 76. And then if you multiply that by one half or divide by two, you should get an answer of 38 inches squared. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Number four, same kind of thing. We have a trapezoid, although this time we have one with a triangle on the right-hand side only. Still use the same formula, but again, we're not worried about this number on the slanted line, the 4.4. So we'll use the same formula here. Make sure when you plug in these numbers that the values for the base one and base two are 6.4 and 7.6. Remember the 4.2 is your height. We can easily get those mixed up if we're not paying attention. So let's go ahead and start to simplify, add the numbers in the middle. So 6.4 plus 7.6 gives you 14. 
And if we multiply that by 2, we should get 58.8. And I'm not going to show it on the screen, because I know some just watch this to get the answers to write it down on their papers. So if you're listening and paying attention, your area here is 29.4 centimeters squared. All right, let's move on to number five. Is number five a trapezoid? Hopefully you're saying no. You'd be correct if you said no, this is a triangle. So we're gonna use a different formula. Area equals one half base times height, where 3.2 is our base and 2.8 is our height, meaning we don't need this measurement of 6.6. .6. So let's go ahead and simplify that. Whoops, which I didn't do. So 3.2 times 2.8. Make sure I give the answer 3.2 times 2.8 gives you 8.96. And if you divide that by 2, your answer should be 4.48 inches squared. 4.48 inches squared. All right, number six, same formula. We're still using a triangle. This one's a little bit easier to see. Um, hopefully you figured out we don't need the 17 here. We are going to multiply 12 times 12. Hopefully you know that. 12 times 12 is 144. So if we divide that by two, your answer should be 72 feet squared. 72 feet squared. Let's move on to number seven. A flag banner was created out of a scrapbook paper. Eight flags were used to create the banner, which has a total of 108 inches squared. What is the height of each flag? Now, please notice, we're given some information here that is not, uh, is not what we typically do. So first off, they're saying the total area is 108 inches squared. They're also telling us there's eight flags. This represents one flag here. So I don't want this to confuse you. This represents one flag. So our formula is going to look a little bit different. Area equals one half base times height. But please understand the area is 108. We're going to multiply that by one half and our base is not nine but in fact it is 72. if we have eight flags and each is nine inches that means in total we have 72 inches so if you're wondering where i got the 72 it's from those two numbers combined i know that's not obvious by looking at that but that's how we're going to get that so let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit Half of 72 is 36. And so all you need to do is treat this like a one-step equation. If you take 108 and divide by 36, you should get 3 inches as your answer. 3 inches. Which hopefully makes sense because if you did it any other way, if instead of 72 you put 9, this number is going to be extremely large. Um, I think it ended up being 12 when I tried to run it the other way. So Three makes more sense because nine is obviously this longer side here. Three would have to be a shorter side here. All right, let's look at number eight. The area of the trapezoid below is 105 centimeters squared. What is the height? So this one's fairly straightforward. We have our rectangular shape here, our triangular shape here. Remember, we don't need this slanted length. We only need the top, the bottom, and the height. But we don't have the height, do we? So another thing to be aware of is they give us base sub 1. They don't give us base sub 2, but they do tell us this triangular shape here has a 4 centimeter width. So we're going to add that to 12. So our formula is going to look like this. We're told 105 centimeters is the area. We're going to set that equal to 1 half times 12 plus 16. So notice I added the 4 to the 12 to get 16. And we're looking for the height. So we're going to go ahead and solve everything we can on the right-hand side before we divide it by 105. So if we combine 12 and 16, we get 28. And half of 28 is 14. And then all you need to do is divide 105 by 14. And you should get a height of 7.5. 7.5 centimeters. All right, that does it for number eight. We got one last one, and I'd like you to try to do this one on your own. 
Should be pretty simple. Follow each of these and tell me whether they're true or false. You may need to solve a little bit to figure it out, but I think you can do it. All right, that does it for our lesson today. See you guys next time.